Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about creating a wrapping paper, a Christmas themed wrapping paper made from simple design which you can actually create using your Adobe Illustrator and your mouse. The whole idea is to make this wrapping paper look like it's hand drawn. That's why the design that you see here looks very, very, very crude and looks a lot like it's hand drawn. So let's get started. We'll start by hand drawing these uh, basic elements with just your mouse. Don't worry, it need not be perfect. As you can see, it has really, really, you know, curvy, really badly shaped edges, but that's what we want to achieve. So let's go ahead and create a new file, file, new. And I'll choose a 12 into 12 inches so that it prints throughout the whole of A4 paper. But if you want to print it as a wrapping paper, then you'll have to give a much bigger size, maybe 21 into 21 inches or something, and then get it printed at a print shop because most of the printers cannot handle big sheets of paper. Okay, uh, so let's just choose 12 into 12 inches and click, make sure you have a CMYK because you're going to be printing this out. And uh, let's just go ahead and create. I'm going to go ahead and bring my patterns here so that I know what I'm drawing and so that I can make the exact same things. Now let's go ahead and pick a color palette. I have a few colors that I've already picked up uh, which I've used here so I'm just going to put them right here. You can find all the colors in the description box. Okay so I have my colors right here so let's just get started. Go click on your pencil tool. If you cannot see this right click and then click on pencil tool. Let's go ahead and draw a first tree, this one. Make sure you draw a triangle. And then let's go ahead and press your eye on your keyboard or your eyedropper tool and go ahead and select this color. So we have our tree ready. Now we have to draw the trunk. So again, take your pencil tool. Make sure this is not selected. You can do that by clicking outside. Hold your command or control key and click outside so that this gets unselected and then you'll still be in your pencil tool. Go ahead and make a tree trunk. Make sure to close the loop always like here, I'll show you, just drag, make sure to close the loop always. And then let's select a color for this, press I and select this one and now you have it. But you don't want it in the front, you want it in the back of the tree, just click on it, press command shift and uh, open square bracket to send it to back. You can also do right click, transform, I mean arrange and send to back. So, okay, so we have our first tree ready. As you can see, this is a little different. Okay, so I have a different color here for my uh, bark of the tree. So, okay, let me just make one more color. So we we'll change this one to this color. Okay, the first one's ready. Now let's make a second tree. As you can see, this was more wide and this one is much narrower. So let's go ahead and click on the pencil tool and make a really long tree. Okay, I don't like how it turns out here in the straight. So let's just edit this. One thing great about pencil tool is you can edit it just by clicking like this. Just draw again and make sure you match the points like this. And yeah, there you go. But I want a pointed structure, so okay. There you go. And now I'll just press I. Select the green one and then go back to my selection tool just to check if it's okay. Zoom in. Okay, it has a really weird thing here. Let me go ahead and change it. Click on your pencil tool again and then you can go ahead and do this. So, okay, that looks fine. And now we should draw a bark again or the tree trunk again. So go ahead and select your pencil and draw one more and let's make this this one and send it to back you can do right click arrange send to back but this one is a little slanted so i'm just gonna turn this so that it's a little straight and even this uh, i'm not really happy with my tree so i'm just gonna go ahead and edit it a little bit more Okay, so we have our two trees ready and now we have something here which is like looks exactly like that but without the fill. So we'll just copy this, 
Select this by clicking and dragging. Press your Option key down or Alt key, click and drag to make a copy. And now uh, we'll select the each individual item for this one and then click on this small arrow here so that it gets inverted to this. Click on the same thing and invert it. Now uh, you see this overlap right here. So I'm going to click on that and bring it down so that you kind of cannot see it. But if you can still see it, what you can do is select the path, go back to your pencil tool and then arrange it so that it comes right below that. Okay. Um, that looks fine. I'm going to do the same thing for this. Okay. So we have our four elements ready, the trees, and in this one we have actually put some dots on it. So we'll go to our selection tool and we need this color. So we'll just go back to our brush tool now, paint brush tool, and now since this is selected, I'll click outside, that is hold your command or control key down and click outside. Now make some... Okay, so now we have our four things created. Now it's time to draw some stars. So you can also use the star tool right here to draw a star, but it'll look really, what do you say? Not hand-drawn uh, to be exact. So let's cancel that. Let's go ahead and select our pencil tool again. And let's try to draw a star. We have some wiggly woggly star right here. Okay, so you see all this um, really straight lines. We have to change our stroke to round. Let's go ahead and make it round and round cap so that those extra thingies disappear. Let's um, edit this a little bit. So when you are using your pencil tool to edit something, make sure you start with a point and end with a point. Otherwise, it will form two separate lines like this. Okay, so now we have this color. Now we're going to make that star yellow. So press I on your keyboard and go and check on the, and go and check on the yellow button or whatever. And now we have this. We'll make one more copy of it. Option all down and click and drag and then press this tiny arrow here. And as you can see, this thing is still turned on. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's rounded cap and rounded. Okay, that looks fine. And next we have some swirls here which we have created. There's one option, you can use the spiral tool over here and if you click and drag, it will create a nice spiral for you. Uh, let's just give you some color. Okay, the red one. So this is how it will look like. And uh, But you can also create with your hand because uh, like I said, this is more like a hand-drawn thing and let's go ahead and do that. So go ahead and click on the pencil tool again and like here, I've created, I've chosen the red color. So I'll just draw some swirls. Okay, and then we'll draw one more which is like yellow but in the opposite direction just to give it some change. So I'll press I on my keyboard and select the yellow color but I'll go ahead and turn the arrow here. I'll do the same thing. I'll select it by pressing my command and then go ahead and give it this red color and then flip it. Uh, because I've chosen the red color from my palette, I'm not sure if it matches this one, so I went ahead and did it again. So we have our two kinds of swirls ready. Now we need to draw this one. So this is again using your pencil tool. Go ahead and do it. It's a normal J shape, so it must be pretty easy. Okay, as you can see, this is not deep enough over here, so... So after this, we're going to draw some lines. As you can see, these lines have a very straight edges. So we're going to go ahead and change our stroke to rounded caps and rounded corners. Select this one and do that as well. Go to your direction selection tool, click on this, click again, and then bring it a little back so that they get aligned. And do the same thing over here. So let's do this for the whole of this. Okay, so we have our element ready and this one over here, I just inverted the color. So what I did was I just clicked, click and drag. And now I choose everything except this. Hold your shift key down to unselect that. 
and we have everything here and I went and clicked on white so all this became white now clicked on this and I inverted this so that yeah there you go once we have all this created we're gonna group each element on its own so let's go ahead and group them select them right click and you can say group or you can also select them and say command G or control G okay so now I've grouped all these elements just because they don't move around when I'm trying to create the pattern so let's just go ahead and work on our pattern now so I'll just create a new artboard here uh, you can click on the artboard tool and make a separate artboard I'm doing this because I do want to edit this part and just select the new items and I'll hold my option key and make a copy and put them over here okay I'll try to arrange them in a manner that I think is okay like here probably let's see So while arranging these items, you can always use things like rotate to make them look a little different. And you can also do things like transform and reflect and make it 90 degree in the vertical or something so that they look a little bit different. And that's the same thing with this one as well. Let's make it reflect. And okay. And then we can do it something like this. So, okay now we have our pattern arranged but this is not the final arrangement because we still have to find out how it looks when it becomes a huge pattern so let's just select everything of this and go to object pattern and make click ok and now you can see this is how the pattern looks like so you can see there are some blank spaces here so we need to arrange this and um, right now it's in a grid mode you can make brick by row or you can also make you know use other options I think brick by column looks actually pretty nice but we'll have to arrange the items anyway so let's uh, try to move this a little bit around so as you can see there's two stars right next to each other which is not good so let's move it up here and let's get this red one uh, press your option key down click and drag so that you make a copy of it but let's make it a little tiny so that um, hold your shift key down and make it tiny and then let's place it somewhere here this one uh, let's move it here and bring the yellow one here okay so we have the shape ready but as you can see there's still a lot of white space if you want you can leave it at this but you can also fill in with filler items uh, for example you can go ahead and choose your brush tool and for color uh, you can always choose the yellow color that you have press I and click on it and make sure you invert this so that you have more yellow and then click on the brush tool and now go ahead and make some dots so you can actually control the size of the dots as well by going in here and pressing bigger or smaller ones like for example you can make bigger ones as well and it's actually nice when you put them here like it overlaps the item sometimes that looks nice as well so make sure you kind of figure out what looks nice so let's make few of those Okay, uh, but too many of them look really bad, so I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna delete that. So let's go ahead and make this um, small as it were, and then make some dots around so that you find some white space. You need to fill them up. If you feel like you don't need the like yellow and you would like some other color, uh, we can also do that. Press I and choose green, and then uh, go to your brush tool and flip this over and then make some green dots this looks pretty fine uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say done okay now it's time to test our pattern so what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and I'll just create one more artboard here okay and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a rectangle and I'll fill this with white because that's what I want my background to be and now I'll make one more rectangle on top of this. You can do that by pressing Ctrl or Command C, Ctrl and Command F, so that now it's pasted right on top. You should go ahead to your swatches. Let me see if I can pull this up. Yeah. And 
click on the latest swatch that's the new pattern that you created and this is how your pattern looks like right now on the shield if you want to change the background all you have to do is I'm just gonna drag this down a bit this is the yellow rectangle I mean this is the white rectangle that I had I'm gonna change the color to something else probably hmm let's see black if you want what I wanted to tell you guys was that you can choose whatever background color you want I would prefer white and then place it back on the top like this so now uh, if you want to create a pattern paper or a wrapping paper of a different size what you can do is you can create a new file and say new and then go to custom 12 into 12 inches I'm gonna change this and make it 21 to 21 and say CMYK don't forget CMYK and click create now let's go back to our file click on this say Control C to copy it go back here and say Control V to paste it and we're gonna keep this in the side the reason I did this is because the pattern is not visible if you don't have this here so I just copied it here and it automatically showed up as a pattern so that's how you do it so click on your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle and don't forget to fill it up with white because our design here our pattern here is actually in PNG and that means it does not have a background so the main reason you created without a background is so that you can choose any other color that you want as a background but if you wanted it with white background already then you would have made sure you put a white rectangle right here you usually don't do that because it gives you very less flexibility once you create the pattern so you have this ready but our filler is already the pattern but I'm gonna make it white I'm gonna say Control C or Command C and Control F or Command F to paste on the top and now we'll select our pattern now we once you have this ready you don't need this anymore so delete notice that your pattern still remains and now we're gonna print this out I'll save this file as a JPEG so then you can take it to your favorite printer and get it printed as a wrapping paper file export export as so what I'm gonna do is I can uh, save this as a PNG or you can save it as a JPEG as well I'll save it as a JPEG in this case and then give it as repo and then export it so make sure it's CMYK your resolution should be really high resolution otherwise you won't get a really nice print so let's make it high as 300 ppi and then quality is medium if you want you can make it higher but then um, I think it increases the file size but that's all that's gonna happen you should try it out and click OK so this is my wrapping paper which is right here if you print it out you can get it on a beautiful 21 into 21 inches wrapper paper you can also print these out as a background for uh, your holiday cards for example uh, you could create a file which is 8 into something inches and then you can actually print on top saying Merry Christmas and let's make this as center and then change the font because you know, we like really nice fonts and then change this to about not 100 is that too big no it's not okay there you go and put it in the center oh I spelled it wrong okay you can also make greeting cards out of this pattern as a background and there's so many things you can do with this pattern actually I hope you guys like this tutorial and if you did please hit the like button also don't forget to click on the bell button because you get notified whenever I upload a new video and if you like the video also subscribe to my channel and don't forget to go check out my blog because I do give out freebies out there and um, if you don't want to create this thing but you just want the wrapping paper then I'm gonna post the wrapping paper uh, the JPEG file on my blog so go ahead and go there and just download it if you want to just trace these things I'll also post a really tiny JPEG which has these elements so that you can keep it on one layer and then just try to trace it on another layer so that you get them uh, get the design exactly as shown here and all the colors are mentioned in the description box so you don't have to go anywhere else to get them and um, I hope you guys have fun making this pattern paper and um, I'll see you next week thank you for watching